When you see sin or damaging behavior in someone else's life, how do you know when to keep quiet and when to speak with them? Um, the first principle that Paul lays down for us is who, who are we to judge those who are outside? It is those in the church that we are to judge. So the first answer is, I'm watching sinful, destructive behavior all day in the world, right? Television, movies, YouTube, on the street, in advertising, people are destroying themselves all day long, neighbors, whatnot. Well, you don't go to everybody. <laughs> you just, that's, you're, not, you're, you're not called to spend 18 hours a day walking up to people saying, don't smoke, or don't drink, or don't swear, or don't hit your wife, or, or don't fail to discipline your children. The, the world is, that's not our job. We preach the gospel to the world, and as occasion arises, we might link some behavior, some destructive behavior to the gospel as a way out. But in the church, then the question becomes more urgent. And there, I think um, it's going to hang on criteria like how serious is it? If it's really serious and immediately urgent, even if you don't know them and you know they're part of the church, you might go and you, you do Galatians 6 2. If you find a brother taken in a fault, restore such a one in a spirit of meekness, lest you too be tempted. So the mindset is, I've got a log hanging out of my eye. Now compared to a log, this person's behavior is a speck. Or even if it's a log, I've got my own log. I can't go to him with a log hanging out of my eye because the log will hit him on the head and do more damage than, than if I take it out. So my first job is to take it out then you see clearly, Jesus says, to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So I become a, a, a successful eye surgeon of the sin speck in my brother's eye by getting the log out of my eye. And so the criteria you use is uh, how serious they are and am I spiritually equipped? And you, you go in there getting the log out and try to speak in a way that wouldn't feel condemning first. I mean, you may have to get tough later, but your first is, I want to win you. I want to win you. I want to create a, a bubble of grace in which you feel some hope that even though this is sin, you're loved and, and accepted. And, and besides the how serious is it, another criterion would be how close is your relationship? Are there other people in this person's life? Like if, if I saw somebody, I think, in your small group doing something, as, you're kind of the elder pastor over that little group I might say, are you concerned about uh, this kind of thing? You mm -hmm. might watch out for it mm -hmm. in your group or something, because I would rather them have people they know come around them than, than, than somebody with a less of a relational piece come, come after them in that. Um, but final answer would be spiritual discernment and spiritual wisdom for the moment about whether this is a, an auspicious, helpful time to talk or whether another angle would be better.